we want the creative technologies day. We've got more people, I think, who are going to be coming and going as the day goes along, which will be quite nice. But thank you to all of you for being the early birds and getting here for the start, which is uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, my name is Dave Briggs. Um, I run a little company based down in Spalding called Kind of Digital. We help organisations use the internet to make themselves a bit more interesting, basically. And I'm flagged here by my awesome team uh, with Tim Wilson and uh, Fraser Henderson. And I suspect some of you will have seen us at various workshops and events over the last few months. We're also joined by Nicola from uh, Lincolnshire County Council, who's uh, funding, part funding the project with some uh, extra dosh from our friends in Brussels who are helping us out um, with that stuff through the ERDF funding that's really making all of this possible. And what this is uh, a part of, uh, this event, is of a wider program um, about getting, uh, it's the online revolution program, which is all about getting faster broadband and uh, into Lincolnshire and making sure that people have the skills and the, uh, and the ideas and stuff to make the, the most of that. And the, specific part of the project we're working on is based on in this coastal region here in, uh, in East Lindsay and uh, Nicola has been doing a lot of work over the last few years supporting coastal communities in terms of economic development and, and all of that kind of thing which forms a key part of, uh, of what we're doing here. So did you want to just spend a couple of minutes talking about some of that stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah thank you all for coming. Um, as Dave was saying this is part of a wider programme on the online revolution and we're looking at developing some cultural hubs along the Lincolnshire coast in Alford, Mablethorpe, Skegness, Hutoff and Laos. And that's where we're going to pilot some of these, potentially some of this technology that you see today, but other forms of technology in those hubs, so that the hubs themselves, um, whether it's Alford Manor House, Laos Playgoers, um, the North Sea Observatory, Excite Skate Park and another one in Mablethorpe when we've got the venue, we'll be able to use those facilities, but also other creative businesses can go in and benefit their own businesses by going in and using that technology as well. So it's to uh, benefit all of um, the businesses along the coast, not just those individual buildings. So what we want everybody to do is feed into those discussions so we get the right technology in those different areas. And Dave and Kind of Digital have been running workshops along the coast um, in the last few months, and there'll be some more into the future for everybody to go in, learn how to use that technology, how it can benefit their business, and then how we can roll that out um, longer term. And today is just sort of that starting point, which we've been excited about, the 3D scanners, which we've just been learning about, so, uh, so that's good. Um, so I'll hand you over to everybody here um, to take over, but thank you for coming, and thank you for Time Digital for, for sorting this out. No, no problems at all. Thank you, Nicola. So as you say, yeah, part of this sort of much, much wider programme, and a key part of that programme is actually to demonstrate that there is sort of demand for high-speed broadband here in Lincolnshire. So one of the other, as well as giving us your ideas, things like that, around the creative technology side of things, the other key thing for you to do, if you haven't done that yet, is when you get home, log on to um, onlincolnshire.org and make sure you sign up there, because uh, that will enable you, as either as a business or a citizen, to actually say, uh, we're interested in getting faster broadband where we live. And that's a really important thing for getting those sign-ups, so that we can make sure we get that money spent uh, in a way that sort of helps um, all of us. So as Nicholas said, we um, kind of digital, we're working to, to establish these five hubs around East Lindsay, which are going to be these creative uh, technology hubs, and they're going to have loads of really exciting uh, bits of tech uh, installed there. And uh, really, we're not, hope, we don't want to sort of lead on that. We want to listen to the people who are hopefully be using that technology in terms of what you actually is going to get um, installed there. And today is a key part of that to demonstrate some of the stuff that's out there. Uh, and to let you guys have a bit of a play with it and then feedback to us about what you liked and, uh, and what you didn't like so much. So we have got some um, absolutely fantastic uh, bits of kit to be played with um, and um, also got some exhibitors who've come down um, given up their time which is absolutely fantastic. Some of them have travelled vast distances as well um, to be here so massive thanks to those guys. We've got Mike Paul uh, from the University who is shortly going to give us a talk uh, which is about an introduction to 3D creative technologies and how 3D can be used within the sort of creative process. We've also got some actual demonstrations technology as well. One of those is going to be coming up this morning from Europac 3D. We're going to be demonstrating their, their 3D scan, which is a really sort of exciting um, bit of kit. And after lunch, um, so there is lunch, it's well worth hanging on uh, for that. And then after that, um, we're going to hear from John Popham, who's here with the CDI Alliance with his colleague Malcolm. And uh, they're also working on some of these projects on the online revolution about uh, supporting uh, digital businesses and that kind of thing. Um, and they're going to be talking about rural broadband and some of the more innovative ways that we can actually bring broadband and fast internet connectivity into the county, uh, introducing something called the Y, which sounds very exciting. Uh, other stuff we've got then is we've got Linda Adams from the Wedgwood Group, who's going to be talking about digital signage. 
Then we've got another uh, presentation from the guys from Europac. Uh, they have come all the way from Cheshire, so they deserve two slots, I think. Um, and they're going to be talking about actual 3D printing. So first of all, this morning, looking at scanning stuff in in 3D. This afternoon, we're going to be looking at actually how you can print stuff in 3D, uh, which is absolutely great. So we're really looking forward to that. So we're going to have a few talks this morning, um, as we say. The other thing I think that's worth mentioning is that we have got, you know, this is an online sort of creative event, so we have got people recording stuff, taking photos, doing some video and stuff like that. Um, I'm tempted to say, to be honest, that if you're not really comfortable with that, probably the best thing to do is go home, I suspect. <laughs> um, uh, so I'm not quite sure how else. But if you, if you really, really, for some reason, maybe you're on the FBI's wanted list or something like that, I don't know, you really don't want your face appearing anywhere on the internet, then uh, if you come and have a word with us, We'll try and find a solution to maybe sort of flank you out or something like that. Or maybe we'll just stick Tim's face on, on everybody that doesn't want to appear on there. We'll, we'll find a way to do it anyway. But, but, do, 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 uh, but do, do just be aware of that. So yes, um, so be careful maybe what you're saying as well when the camera's nearby. That might be another thing to, to bear in mind. Um, and then the, the final thing is just as well as these pictures and things we've got in here, I'm sure you've already been down to the, and had a look at some of those exhibits we've got through in the, in the other rooms. We've got loads of quite cool stuff in there. Uh, you can do some painting on an Xbox. We've got this uh, big digital knitting machine that nobody quite seems to know how to work. Um, but it's quite cool. Uh, we're grateful for any tips on, the, on how to actually use it. We've got some other stuff around. Um, uh, John's got his wire that he'll show people. Um, we've got the 3D scanners and all that kind of thing. So you can actually touch this stuff, have a go with it, and have a play. So it should be really, really good. So that's probably, I think, everything for me to say that's on my, on my list, um, which is quite good. It means we're keeping to time, which uh, makes a pleasant change. So I'm going to hand over now um, to, um, to, yes, it is, it's Mike, isn't it, first? Mike Paul from uh, Lincoln University, who's going to talk to us about creative...